Alright. Hope you're able to see. A little on an angle. I got you set up for you on the
Today is our anniversary, July 8th, it's 2018, and we're getting there. Second one, done. we got one more to go, and we're done. And then we got to wait 28 days. 28 days, and we can sit there and start jacking the house up. So... We lost our dog in the process. He got away. He got away one other time. But he came back like six hours later. I called for him. I can't hear him. I can't find him. We have him on this great big long leeway chain. And we bought a harness. The one that goes around his body and stuff. But you know what? Who in the right mind makes a dog harness that has plastic clips on it? He just broke it right off. So we're going to have to come up with something. Might have to get a choker chain or something because he's, he's pretty darn strong. So I'll allow him to just kind of hang out a little bit instead of just getting all riled up. But haven't showed you the property in a while. We parked the car down here. We started filling in all the garbage on the hillside. We got a little bit more. I had somebody put wood up in there. That's going to come out. We'll burn it. That's, we got a wood burner. We shouldn't be throwing away wood. Anyways, there's that. Um, the door we're going to take at to the scrapyard. It's aluminum. But this is where we're at. Back of the house. It's a mess down in here. All of that goes up into that pal up there. That's all drywall. That's what we've been doing, just throwing it down off of the deck into there. And then once it gets full, we get the riding lawnmower and take it up and dump it. 
it's a dump trailer, so. Um, but down there is the stream. That's the field. All that right there in the middle. Japanese knotweed. Yeah. That's going to be something that we're going to tackle next year. Don't ever plant it. It's very highly invasive. And it's going to take a lot for us to get rid of it. Um, so, unfortunately, I think we're going to end up having to use chemicals to get rid of it. Don't want to, but if any of you guys know of any way to get rid of Japanese knotweed without having to use Monsanto's Roundup, let me know because I really don't want to use the stuff, but you know, you could pull it out, but it doesn't matter. The rhymes, they got rhymes and they go everywhere and they could go up to three feet down into the soil and you think you got it going and two years later, it's going to pop itself right back up. So I need something that's going to get rid of it and get rid of it for sure and be done with it. So you don't want to mow it. If you mow it, you're going to spread it. So what we've been doing is cutting it down and then we burn it right where it's at. That way it doesn't spread anywhere. Um, everywhere you burn, it does kill what's right above the ground if within a foot. Um, so there's not as much there as there was last year. Everywhere we burned, it didn't come back up yet. So that's our scrap wood. We're going to get ready to burn all of that cardboard and stuff from the thing. So, I guess the gist of it is, don't be afraid to come up with some inventive ideas. I mean, we got, ended up getting a toilet and just so happens that the cardboard is nice and thick and it worked out really, really nice. It's going to be a great pier right there. So, you don't always have to get wood and cut it all up and put it all together. You come up with what you got. Figure out what you got. So, that's it. We're going to get ready to go. We're going to go home. And we're going to change and get dressed. And we're going to go out to eat. Not sure where. I think we might go to Red Lobster. I'm really in the mood for some seafood. So, Darren doesn't like seafood. So, it's the only time I get it is when I go out. So it might be Red Lobster because they have a lot of other stuff other than seafood. And their cheddar biscuits are really good. So, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'll do another one of the other pier that we're going to do. Um, that one's going to be a little bit easier. I might actually just leave it running the whole entire time so you can see the whole entire process. This one just gets a little bit long when you got multiple bags that you got to mix and it takes, you know, four or five minutes to get them mixed for good and then get them poured in and then all of that. It just, when you're doing five, six bags, I mean, you're talking about a 30, 40 minute video that just shows us sitting there waiting for it to get mixed. <laughs> but the next one's only going to take three bags. Um, that's all those cone things take. So hopefully I could just set it up somewhere. Find a place that you can see everything. Or I might get my daughter, Desiree, to take care of things. Alright, for now. On the Nutty Fruit Hollow Homestead. I'm going to sign out. Take care.